And once again, we are back with hashtag justice for HC using the masks, a new generation system. And I'm Chris and the various people around me are various members of the group, including our forgotten Drake and weapon who showed up, but, but there is no balance. Everything is doomed. Yep. <laughs> Just like last time this happened. The okay. name of this adventure is why do we always come here? I guess we'll never know. It's like a kind of torture. All right. That sounds ominous. It is just like the show it's from. Mm. Mm. So. So you Drake. Made, you made your map small. Yep. So it'll fit on the board in the hidden area. Okay. So, Drake. Drake. Yeah, sorry. That's so. fine. Do not worry about it. You, it has been hot and bright for weeks. Okay. You are unsure of anything. Once in a while, the man shows up. And you can tell he's gloating, that he's mocking. But you can't focus on it. It is just gone. Okay. So I can't remember this man's name or face? Nope. Damn. One okay. time, though, he walks in. And you feel something cool get put on your, your, your head. Mm-hmm. And you start to focus on it. It is a cold bottle of water. Okay. <clears throat> you look up and you see this man staring down at you. Mm. Uh, sorry about that, kid. You, I was hoping to get a little bit more fun out of you, but your friends forgot you so quickly. I mean, just gone. I mean, I expected them to forget you, obviously, what I did. But, I mean, they're not even emotionally responding to it anymore. It's kind of lots its fun. Hey. <laughs> Once you're off my well, Facebook you know, feed, you're dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I guess it's because I haven't done any concerts recently. You know how fame is fleeting. Oh. That must oh, be the reason. Friend. Oh, my friend, your fame was fleeting. But it's time to kind of change it up a little bit now. You see, he turns around and walks out. He pushes open a part of the wall. Uh -huh. What he does, you see his right hand kind of slaps against the wall, and a dripping red handprint starts, just sits there, and then he walks out the door. And the door stays open. All right. Uh, can I get up and leave? You get up. You are, you are sore. You're tired. But you can uh, get up. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, head out that uh, head out that door then. Uh, Slowly but surely, since I'm so sore, Chris. You get am out I, there. Am I still me? Can I still fly? Well, they're here, no. No? All right, where's it's here? Like, as you kind of get to the edge, yeah. you have, you're like in a bright, white, hot room. As you get to the door frame, all you see is blackness out there. That is an appropriate response. <laughs> oh, but, but that's not an appropriate response. That no, is I'm totally that, inappropriate. I said that is an appropriate response. <laughs> yep. That is uh, do I have any of my uh, devices on me? You are wearing pajama bottoms. Son of a I don't. I never wear pajama bottoms. I go commando, Chris. <laughs> I call shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> well, I learned something new about Drake. <laughs> um. Well, it's 
time to step into the great unknown, Chris. Okay. You fall. And uh, fall. Uh, and uh, fall. Uh, and fall. Until you slam into something hard, soft, gushy, wet. Oh, I don't know if I like that last part. Sounds fun. <laughs> right. I look around, Chris. Is you so- are you are in a trash can. A, I'm sorry, a dumpster. You're in a dumpster. Okay, add insult to injury, you freaking mm-hmm. asshole. <laughs> sure you want to go commando now? <laughs> You're a commando. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Now there's trash in your junk. <laughs> <laughs> there's junk in your oh. junk. There's mm-hmm. a banana across your banana. It's moldy. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, well, can I tell what part of the city I'm in? So much potassium. You get out of the dumpster. You are still wearing pajama, bo- pajama bottoms. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Just in case um, you, you are in, you know, kind of a mid area. Neither rich or poor, just kind of there. A okay. lot of laundry mats. Hi. <laughs> a lot of laundry mats. Nice, nice. So um, you're, in the, you're in the nice part of town. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Um, I, Chris, I fly to my 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 actual place. Okay. To you know, to home, where it's safe. Or maybe not so much since I was apparently kidnapped in the middle of my sleep cycle. You fly to the um, Sinjine Gallery. Okay. Which is boarded up and closed and doesn't look like it's been in operation for years. What? Okay, this is bullshit. (laughs) Okay, I go, uh, I find Saber. I I go. I guess I guess the best area to find them would be the Monroe Center. Uh, okay. People are staring at you. I don't care. Boo. Have you never seen a ripped young man before? <laughs> Covered in trash. Covered in trash, wearing nothing but pajama bottoms. Haven't you ever seen a street performer with a shirt off before? <laughs> right, right. Have you ever seen street magic? <laughs> I'm really creepy, man. <laughs> Super creepy. It's because of these. <laughs> the magic of the circus. And flash, demonic back human. Boo. When I say boo, as somebody. You do find something odd. You're, you're kind of walking by buildings and you see the bill uh, a, a, a sign a playbill for a group called Yamada no Yachi Yamada Yonachi who are they you'll notice it's these four the people three I want to say three who the hell is that guy <laughs> <laughs> He was in a Creed cover band before he joined. <laughs> yeah, he's gay. He's gay. He's gay. I got it. I got it. Well, it's time um, to find... Um, is there something wrong with that? No, no. It's no, totally... but there is something wrong with being in a Creed cover band. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> I correct myself. Um, all right. Uh, I still got to go to the Monroe Center. That's where the rest of uh, of the gang is supposed to be. Uh, I have no idea. What I stopped somebody. What? What? What's? What date is it? They well, look at here. you and uh, try to get away from you. Oh my God! Come on, people. I go to the Monroe Center because obviously, either Chris, I can flag down a policeman, which will get me put in jail, or, or I can just continue walking. We're not walking at this point, Chris. I'm going as as fast as I possibly can. Uh, I spread my wings and just jump up and go. Okay. (laughs) 
you get to the center. You see, you know, activity. You see kids running, hanging around. Various people there. Okay. I enter and I look for the red mask, whatever his name was. As you enter. Uh Uh-huh. A woman runs up to you. Uh Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, honey, you look you look cold. Come here. She puts a blanket around you. You're a homeless kid, come on. <laughs> come in. Come and sit down here. Hey, uh... No, sit, no, sh- sh- sit down here. Woman, stop. I'm not in the mood. Oh. <laughs> she Where's looks the... kind Where... of offended. He gets hostile <laughs> immediately. <laughs> right, right. And woman... Uh... <laughs> I don't like being... Chichin, make me some pie. Uh, it, could, it could be your mom, it's true. I mean, it is my mom. Oh, is that the only woman that works there? Well, Where's I mean, Simon? Her pictures up there. Where's Mr. Chow? Or Chu? However yeah, we sure is. He is away at the moment. Okay. Uh, where's the robot? He's around. Uh, okay. I need to talk to him. A couple moments later, a little Ooh. remote control car stops in front of you. Beep. What? Oh, I just, Where, it's, you see what, two little eyes popped up and they're just what was his at name? What was his name again, Chris? Junkyard. Our, uh, Junkyard. Junkyard, is that you? Yes. Okay, that, you know it's Drake. The um, Canadian rapper? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You're definitely not the Canadian god. rapper. Oh my god. Okay, can you uh, can you please get the uh, the team? Can you please get the team? Uh, I need to speak to. Um... You you see the eyes. You see just like a suspicious glint in the eyes. Maybe eyebrows just kind of furled up over the eyes. It's like why? Although to be fair, why? you do look like why? Because who's something has happened. The last thing I remember <laughs> is going to sleep. Then I woke up in some strange guy's cell. He told me that. <laughs> he goes, oh, forgot- oh, oh, no, no. You see the woman comes like, oh, oh, honey, here. No, she no. She puts I'm... the blanket around you again. No, just sit down. Sit no, down. No, no. I'll get the cop. I stand up, Chris, at this point, and I just I just let both halves of me be seen. So, like, I'm obviously not a human. So you can stop treating me like a human right this instant, lady. And you need to get the rest of the team because I have been uh, either sent to a different dimension, in which case we need to get me back to my proper one, or B, somebody has influenced this timeline completely and screwed everything up, Junkyard. So as you're doing that, all of a sudden you realize you're surrounded by about 40 robots all pointing things at you. I, you I, need to calm down. I will calm, calm down. Calm down. As no, as you set, get the rest of the team. Set down. Set down. Fine, I sit down. Um, this guy that got me, he has like a red hand. That's all I remember from him. Let's see. We will go with who? Hey, Gauntlet. Yeah. You are actually upstairs. Okay. Staying away from your mother. Right. By the way, you do. You are getting kind of annoyed with that. I'll take this back. She is really good at mothering people. Just not you. Just not inside you. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. She's great at this job. <laughs> yeah. Fine. You, you've seen compassion and compassion in her eyes that you have not seen for years. It's terrible. Oh, honey, if I don't have to take you home, I love you. <laughs> wow. Right. That's exactly well, that's the terrible. Case. I'm going to um, eat eat a lot and get real fat, and that will show her. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That sure will. <laughs> uh, I think you should see someone. I don't know if your robot body will allow that. <laughs> 
Do I have to call people? Because I'll totally get use the phone and just call Saber's number. Being fat on one side would be kind of amusing. Right. I don't know how that would work. <laughs> You're both trim and obese. I don't know what... A gauntlet. Yep. One of the junkyards show up. Mm-hmm. Is it the one that I've taken apart? No, uh, you have before. Junkyard just lets you take him apart? Yep. Is it, buddy? You can tell that he's the one that I've taken apart because he has unicorn stickers on him. <laughs> oh, my God. As is only proper. Right. Hey, KT. Yep. There is some strange kid down there with wings demanding to see you and your team. Uh, with wings, you say? Yep. We have, we've got him covered for now. Does he Actually, look? I've got him covered. Does he look like Matt? No. Okay. Okay. Right. He, yeah. You never know these days. Right. You never right. Know, you just right. Don't know. He's got a horrible, horrible, like dark, evil looking bat wings. Oh, him. <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't sound familiar. Right. Do I, do I know him, Chris? Or... No. He's, he's a, a complete stranger to me. Yep. Okay. Um, hmm. 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 Well, better call Saber. <laughs> right. He's the team leader. Right. Right. I don't want to, I don't want to talk to some weird person with wings. I'll make Saber do it. <laughs> make Saber do it. <laughs> Saber will do anything. That's right. Hey. Hey. By the way, which one which one do you ride right now? Uber or Lyft? Lyft. 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 Uber's so for old people. Saber. Yeah. You're in your um you're in a lift heading towards the center. Okay. When you get a call. Yeah. There's a guy with wings here who, who demands to talk to the team. Is that all the description we have? Is a guy with wings? I mean, I'm not going to go down there and talk to him. Not until you get here. Uh, who told you? Well, Junkyard, obviously. Okay. All right, well, I'm on my way. Okay. You pull up. I will uh, download myself to Saber's phone so that I can arrive at the same time as him. Uh, Katie's in the car with you. Hey, Kitty. You get in front of the center, and you see a bunch of people outside, a bunch of the kids, and you see hundreds of junkyards around, basically separating the kids from the building. Almost every kid has their own junkyard. Nice. Is this guy dangerous junkyard? I want my own junkyard. You do. I don't know. He got angry, has wings. Threaten Molly. I threaten, he threatened Molly? <laughs> threaten Molly. Who threatens Molly? All right. I do. I mean, she's the most wonderful mother of all. Shut time. up. She's great. No, she's not. <laughs> I mean, I know she's not because I know how she treats KT, but she's weirdly <laughs> pleasant around here. All right, I head in. And you see a young, ripped Middle Eastern kid. I'm wearing pajama bottoms, covered in trash and filth. I'm assuming they offered you a shower, some clothes. I just look at you and I'm just like, Saber Man, I wanted to talk to you. Junkyard's acting like he's never seen me before. I have no flipping idea what the hell is going on. And I have this lady who treats her daughter like shit try to keep wrapping me in a blanket like I'm some young kid who needs to be protected. Ask okay. me if he knows what your card is. I look over obviously, at KT. Obviously <laughs> not. <laughs> obviously not the case. <laughs> and so the only thing I can think of is, you know, I'm, I'm just ranting at this point. I'm, I'm irritated. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, man. I've never seen you before. That's... Oh... 
Hey, thanks uh, for the... So like, uh, you know, I'm sure we can figure some figure this out. Th thanks for the likes and all, but, um, you know, if you want to hang out with the team, that's one of our Patreon tiers, and... Yeah, I, I mean, it's like the... <laughs> like, it's kind of mid upper tier. Yeah. But... Yeah. What's your look, username, maybe? <laughs> look, she... Molly does take good, good, good care of our, you know, of the people who come in here. Maybe like, just let her. <laughs> <laughs> I ignore that. That's totally fair. Right, right. Um, <laughs> As you should. <laughs> um, As is only proper. Just, you know, let us get you some clothes, get you showered, and you can tell me more about this. But I have never seen you before in my life. Are you from another dimension? Stranger danger. That's the only thing I could think of. I mean, unless somebody removed me from your timeline. Well, that'd be wacky. I don't know if I've heard of that before. All right, yeah, man. Like I said, go clean up. Um, I'll show your picture around, see if anyone else has seen you. No, oh, here, here's an idea. Here's an idea. Uh, you get a hold of Simon Chow. And you have him come over here and do his little mind reading thing on me to confirm what I'm telling you. I'll talk to Simon. Um, cause it, right now, since you don't believe me, no, I didn't say I don't believe you, but I have never seen you. Hey, Jim. A... Yep. Quick sidebar question. Yep. What city has the most psychiatrist conventions? <sighs> So that's where Simon Chow's going to be. Vegas. <laughs> um, Chicago or Vegas. San Diego or Vegas. Probably San Diego, actually. Um, he is in San Diego right now at a convention. What's your name? Uh, my name is Kurgan Singwine. Do you have any social, I... media, social media presence? <laughs> Well, obviously, if I've been removed from this timeline or come from a different dimension, Saber, that I wouldn't me, have it. That might give me some pictures that people might actually recognize you in. I assume you don't usually show up in pajama bottoms covered in trash. No, no. I mean, I, I, mm -hmm. I rock out hard because I used to be part of a band, but I see the band picture and with a fourth member I've never seen before. All right. Like I said, let me talk to some people. Get cleaned up. Well, I don't trust him. Anyone who says that they rock out hard obviously isn't trustworthy. <laughs> I think he obviously rocks out hard. Look at him. You wish Man. Him I, you I, hey, 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 Saber. I mentioned the one guy that we both get our weed from. Okay. You mean Tyler? The good stuff. The good stuff. Oh, yeah. No, that's not Tyler. <laughs> not hey, Weapon. I get nothing from Tyler. Yeah. No, right. <laughs> you yeah, you got... um. Weed. Uh -huh. You get back from Disney World. I was at Disney World. Nice. Expanse seems to have a strong connection to Disney. I love Disney. I am so down. Well, there are videos from like the 1950s when Disneyland was opened that show Walt Disney and Expanse. She is. Yeah. She was a friend of Disney for years. She's an Does imagineer. She was frozen head. Right. Uh, no. Don't don't. That is so um, human. Obviously, I downloaded his mind. Come <laughs> on. Wait, uh, what? <laughs> I downloaded his mind, but it didn't work out well. Um, he's trapped in a cartoon character. You've met Lila, Lila right? Or Stitch. <laughs> Stitch, yeah. Stitch. Oh, it's Stitch. You met Stitch. Oh. So you get back from Disneyland. You were there for like a week. It was it was magical. You stayed in the castle. I definitely hey. have Mickey Mouse ears on. <laughs> hey, there's all kinds of things on social media. We are blowing it up. It's true. There's also all kinds of selfies of me all wearing Mickey Mouse ears in various parts of Disney World. There are a lot of pictures of you with the various Disney heroes. Yeah. There's a video of me doing a uh, push-up competition with Gaston. <laughs> I like it. Did Did you meet American Princess? <laughs> you did. Oh, totally. 
Oh, she I liked. The princesses. Did did he get a autographed T shirt for you? Uh, from who? From American Princess. American Princess. Oh, for for KT, she's like a super fan. She's. Oh, my, I totally would. She's my favorite superhero. I think it's. I think I totally would. Awesome. The better name's misspelled. Oh. And that weapon has and that weapon has influence over KT. If that was already, already the case. <laughs> That's true. I totally so I come back from Disney World over. and it was magical. And where do I show up? You come back. You walk into the um awesome. the Moreno Center, and you see there's a, a tense conversation comfort, confrontation between Saber and some shirtless trash covered. I'm kid. not. I'm not angry at Saber. I make no aggressive movements towards Saber. He's one of my best friends. He just doesn't remember me, and that's just a little aggravating. I don't know what this crazy guy's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I walk over next to Saber, and I look at Drake, and I kind of tilt my head like I'm trying to figure out if I know him. And I'm like, Come on, what? weapon. Sushi. You know this guy, weapon? Sushi. You found some of your favorite sushi at a 7-Eleven, despite us telling you that that stuff was not quality. I have to open my mouth a little. Okay, I believe him. We, we know this guy, obviously. But I believe that was, him. That was, all, that was all over Instagram. Yeah, anyone can know that. <laughs> oh, I, my God. I, 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 I look at Drake and I go, Chris Angel, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> The okay. trash bit would be new. Then, uh, then how about this? Uh, Captain Halcyon uh, getting decked by KT. See, that was a story that got out, but that never happened. She went Bullshit. to deck her. She went to deck her. Bullshit. I know, and I stepped in front of her. Can I, I remember? Like, how, how's, that, how's that memory play out in my head now? Chris? Um, it never quite happened quite that intensely. But, um... You pretty much remember um we will go with because Drake was on that uh, Crimson doctor, Mask. but he's not there anymore. Crimson Mask now? Yep. Okay. That was that was Chow. Right, but how would I know that? So if you know me but it was if me. you know me, answer this one question. Uh huh. Who is my favorite food network star? Oh, ho, ho. All my best friends know that. If we're friends, you should know. That's that, okay. That, mm. But you put it on Instagram anyway. All right. He's I got also the wearing bed. the. He's also wearing the shirt. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right. Right. It's a Guy Fieri shirt, and it's him giving thumbs up. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so, I got one that I only he would I know. Weapon. I just roll my eyes. Come on. <laughs> what was the name of our pet that we brought back from your dimension? Uh, that's true. That's true. That's a good one. Well, he wanted to call it, if I remember correctly, Novelise, and you wanted to call it uh, Fluffernutter or something thereof. He does know about the Pegasus. He does um, know about Fluffernutter. <laughs> but that's not what we were talking about, the pet. The pet we brought back. I don't know. Oh, Guy, guy uh, uh, Rat. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the demonic rat that you brought back. And uh, I think you call them Guy Ricci or something like that, or Rat something, something Ricci. I don't, I don't know. All I know is that weapon promptly accidentally killed it when we introduced him. It was Guy Ferrati. Yeah, Guy Ferrati. That's it. And weapon killed it. He does seem to know a lot. And, and I might want to uh, interject here. How did you know it was my dimension that you brought the rat from? That's a good point. From yeah, the you deep fantasy, you should just said from another dimension. <laughs> so, um, so, um, quick thing, KT. Yeah, that did come out exactly like you said it. Weird. But then you, you did, think you, back, that's and you you're not his sure dimension. what happened there. Something weird's going on. So, what <laughs> happened was when we came back, in period, from his dimension. Yeah. He Dude, went you to a walk different into the building. You notice a lot of kids around in a lot of junkyards. Uh, so you think I, he, he went like, to like an alternate timeline? Next week. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Do you have an interview? 
With Oprah next week, yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. It's not, by the way, it's not with Oprah. She's not what? on the air anymore. Yeah, yeah it's true. not with Oprah. True. There's only one person you're interviewing with right now. Jerry. Ellen, Ellen, Jerry. Ellen, Jerry. Ellen. Jerry. <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres. I settled for Dr. Phil. Ellen. Right. Ellen. Yep. I'm going to have an interview with Ellen next week, so I'm a little nervous. Don't let it slip that you're gay. <laughs> what? That's great um, primetime TV stuff. Come on. That's why he's Where going he on. Been? Oh, oh, he's going to make the big reveal there? Finally, Jesus, how long have we been telling him, Saber? Just be himself? A while? I still look at right. you strangely. <laughs> Right, especially with uh, what's his last? Uh, well, uh, um, this he must, might clean up pretty hot, but um, he must he have gone living under a rock. He knows a lot though about us. It's creepy, frankly, but it does mean maybe he's telling the truth. I think I, Perian well, well, wearing my Guy Fury shirt and go. He knew who my favorite <laughs> Food Network TV star was. You're wearing the T-shirt. Okay, not that part. <laughs> not that part. But. You know, as they're as they're doing that, Chris, I go sit down in front of the piano, and I start playing it. Why do you think the piano's here? I check. By, on. by the way, your next question, their weapon is where did it just come back from? As you're wearing your Mickey, Mickey Mouse, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I saw her on my piano. pants. <laughs> who who how here many knows eyes how to, do I how to have? Pay, play the piano as well as a saber? I'm gonna figure out where Chow is right now. San Diego. Um. There, there is a nice, there is a nice, um, he's in a, what are those called? Not conferences, but an actual. A convention. Not a convention, the, the, the programs during the convention. Why didn't we go to wherever he was when I was looking to hide out? Because if he hadn't heard, that's where I should have gone. Hadn't heard what? Someone outed me. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would. You, I've man. never told a soul. I go no, to no, high five at Perion. No, no, no. No, not that's not. It's not. It's not okay. I mean, I, I mean, I'm glad he's out, but you don't do that for somebody. Oh, okay. My bad. It was funny though, Weapon, because he literally hid in a closet afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> he did. It was pretty, pretty. Yeah. It was what? pretty terrible. It's, the coincidence was, was strong. Gay. The irony is palpable. Right. And I have no idea where my mom is. That's also very disconcerting. As I continue to play the piano. Who's your mom? Look, man, seriously, go take a shower. Fine. I close the piano up, and I go to go take a shower. Do I need to leave you my 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 dimensions? Uh, I no, name his I... dimensions accurately. <laughs> very, very accurately. <laughs> Uh, sounds like Imperian's got you, so we're good. Uh, that's I so, didn't get Imperian. I, when he I'm finally not, comes not. out, he goes full force. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, hey, Imperian. Um, it doesn't seem to bother me though. at all. It doesn't bother me at all that he knows. I'm going to run his picture through all the databases <laughs> that I have access to. There is nothing. I mean nothing. You find nothing on any records anywhere. No. Nothing. Complete and total... Shroud. So, do we find nothing? Nothing. Well, that's weird. Well, right. If, Wait, hold on. That's weird, actually. Right. There should be something on him. Yeah. If he's anybody. He's a person. Right. He's a person. So, if someone went to the trouble of wiping him from the face of the earth, record-wise. Sounds like it. And memory-wise, how do you even do that? Weapon, KT, can you look deeper? Sure. Whoa, well, hey. No. I... Wait, wait, no, I'm sorry. You're the one in charge. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I'm in a better mood. I need to jump. No, no, I'm just saying. I look just fine. But yeah, KT and Weapon, you can go ahead and look further. Yeah. That, that was totally fine. Can I... Uh... I just need to activate it. Fine. I... I'm sorry, question your leadership. Pull out oh, no, my... Uh, smartphone, that. Chris. Um, and I want to try to um, use my if it'll show up. Sorry. Uh, so uh, here we go. Finally. 
So we um, can cuz to the dance next week. Can I use my alien tech ability What's to that? try and um, to the dance next week? I just start chatting look, with you. Or to okay. look for deleted. Uh, yeah, she, I mean, she, she talked about it, but like um, that was weeks ago. She hasn't there. brought it up recently. That is possible, but truthfully, that is actually more on KT's area. But I'm sure she still wanted to go. Information technologies is KT's side. You make weapons of war. Fine. Be that way. <laughs> Uh, so humdinger, I only make weapons of war. Oh. Oh, oh, make things that destroy. Um, go ahead and roll. Unleash your powers? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to sit down at the piano, Chris, and play what he was playing. Attempt to. You can't play it nearly as well as I can. Yes, I can. Boom. Mm -hmm. I'm a classically trained musician. Okay. Except I play it with soul. <laughs> well, that's probably true. Yeah. Here's his clinical play, and dead. I, 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 I play it with cold, crystalline perfection that you cannot right. match. So, Katie. Yeah. You're finding nothing, but you find something. So not you nothing. You find. Right. You find something, but it's nothing. About oh. six months ago. Actually, I take that back. About three months ago, there was a Google search done at this cafe about two miles away of a picture that it looks exactly like him. Mm. That's how good you are. So the trash and pajama items? What was the um, search that someone was doing? It was just like an image search to find yeah, any but... information and nothing came back. But now we have a picture? Well, you have a picture, but you also know somebody was looking for him. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll show people that. That's strange. All right, so our kid does exist. <sighs> somebody was looking for him. Somebody. At least we know he's a real person, right? Well, I mean, yes, he's a real person. I mean, he smelled like a real person. He certainly <laughs> did. No, he smells like a trash person. That's, That's why he had to go to the shower. I suppose if he was homeless, then maybe a family member was looking for him. He could have actually been off the grid all this time. That could be. But he knew us, like, well. Really? He didn't even know what has going on in the past week and a half. He knew who Guy Ferrati was. And, who? and Fluffernutter. The devil rat that we brought back from the other dimension. Oh, the devil rat. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and, well, we and, did have well, Twitter pictures of him. Not of the Pegasus. Um, yeah. No, because the only pictures we had didn't come out because they, they don't develop in the other stupid world. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh. And KT did say my dimension. Exactly. Yeah, and, K and KT did. I don't know why. Say his dimension. I don't know either. Um, that could it's... easily be a inserted. You know, not. I mean, you know, he's been talking that way. So. Yeah, it was it slip. Maybe. I don't know. That means a little coincidence. That seems a little coincidental to me. So. Oh my God! What then? What we should do. What we should do is we should go on a uh, bonding trip with him. Um, because at the end of it, he'll either be our best friend or our worst enemy. <laughs> I, can, I can, I can, I can. That is how it works in the shows. Yep. I can take yep. him to sushi, and if he really is my friend, he'll pay for it. <laughs> what all my <laughs> other friends do. That's actually not how that works. Yeah. Yeah, but we need to have a social talk. Also, I never pay for it, so am I right. your friend? You can't make KT pay for that. Uh, KT can't afford that. KT's never taken me to sushi. There's a reason. And if you asked me, I still wouldn't pay for it. So does that mean I'm not your friend? We're friends. I got you a t-shirt, see? No, you don't. And it's just True. a plain white t-shirt and in black sharpie it says a m r c n p r n c z and then it's signed by the american princess <laughs> is that her actual signature though 
No, it said I wrote American Princess <laughs> on it, <laughs> and then she signed it. Well, she actually oh. signed it. She yes. actually oh. signed it, but oh, okay, it's okay. it's fine. She's illiterate anyway. <laughs> it's part of her story. <laughs> I mean, Jennifer Lawrence never graduated high school, so we don't know. <laughs> she dropped out in middle school. You just never know. You don't know. All right. So when am I out of the shower, Chris? Oh, you're dead. Oh, okay. So I also... Um, I'm hitting up the other heroes I know to see if they like know who the hell this kid is. Also, I'm looking for my mother, which apparently our house looks like it's been boarded up for the, what, what did you say, Chris, like a couple months? No, 20 years. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Somebody yeah. had to take me out of this timeline? Oh. Well, I probably won't find her unless I. Hey, Chris, do I have the key on me that allows me to step into my other dimension or into my uh, library? No. Son you of are a- wearing. You are wearing two at pajama bottoms. They have pockets sometimes. There was nothing in the pockets. No pockets for you. No pocket for you. Is uh, is Asher still playing the piano? Yeah, they seem. You walk downstairs, and they're all in a circle. And as soon as you walk in, they all stare, stare and turn at to look at you. I just walk over and sit down and, and lift uh, little things on the piano <laughs> and I just start playing it. Seriously, I think we should we should um, take him out in public and log in and hang out and see if anything clicks. Well, I do know that one person that you probably not introduce me to is elite uh but that's because i'm so angry at what he said about weapon what did he say about does this memory still exist oh when he insulted weapon in the in the uh in the meeting what did he say though uh something about trashy aliens or something of that Chris, yeah, it was. Wait, what? (laughs) I look at him. I look at him. Period. Like, uh, no. uh, If remember right from that situation, Expanse pretty much shut him down. Yeah, she did. Right, right, right. But he did make the comment before she shut him down. (laughs) Oh no, no, she shut him down the entire situation. So, oh, so that never happened. Definitely made no. Oh, okay. In the memory. So y'all cool. that never happened. So y'all are cool with Elite. That's weird. No, that guy's I'm, a dick. I'm not cool with him. But he didn't do that. And he's definitely a bigot. I mean, he, he probably is. has in private, but... Right. But it's not something somebody else would know, would they? But it's not something that happened. But it didn't happen. It happened in my timeline. Well, it's just like we got attacked when I was playing a concert. My mom was doing a gala and y'all were at my place. That obviously didn't happen if I'm not in your timeline. Uh, when, when, when was this? I mentioned the date, Chris. And by the way, what date is it? Um, I'll go back to that day, like through my, you know, video feeds and all that stuff. Okay. You find it. So I'm going to do a weird little time change here. I just kind of realized I messed something up myself. That search was about a month ago. What search? The, the search for um, the picture that looks like Drake. Oh, okay. That looks like Cargan. Okay. Hold on. Who did you say had you? What? Give me your full story. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point. Who has had you? So so what I was trying to tell Junkyard before Miss Tompkins decided to wrap me up in a blanket and try to shush me, which is what got her. She's very nice. She does that. She's very nice. She's a very nice woman. (laughs) To everyone else except for the person who matters in this world. Everyone by her child, sure. Yes. Um, Yeah, but you should still be respectful. She comes up to you and hands you a bowl of macaroni and cheese. Wow. 
Well, yeah. Is it Kraft macaroni and cheese? Well, yes. it's from the Well, she hands the rest of us, like, you know. Sushi? Is it, is no. It, is it orange powder mac and cheese, or is it real mac and cheese? Well, you know, it's the cafeteria handing out to kids. Okay. <laughs> I eat the mac and so, cheese. I mean, I'm not going to turn down it's mac, still and mac and cheese. It's still right? mac and cheese. <laughs> so, I remember a lot of different, like, you know, emotions, pain, that sort of thing. And I was trapped in a room, and a uh, gentleman came out. And I saw him, and he mentioned that all of you had forgotten me, and I described what he looks like and his red hand that he left on the wall uh, when he opened up the door and left it open for me to leave. And when I stepped out to the door frame edge, it was just a void of nothingness, and it was either stay in the room or take a leap of faith. And so I just stepped off. And I found myself falling into a goddamn trash can. You know, injury, uh, you know. I got uh, it. Was, I got yeah, it, you guys. Got it. I got it, you guys. Um, uh, it sounds like that, the red this right isn't, hand. This isn't Cargan or whoever you say your name is. What it, it actually is, is it's a uh, an alternate balance. Uh, you no, think? No, no, I'm not. He's, an he's never manifested as another person. No, he no, hasn't. But no, you know, we've seen a lot Matt of different balance, balances yeah, around, and red right hand what? has been involved, and so that just makes a lot of different balances. That's around? a good. That's a good point, actually. Oh, you've been gone. Yeah. No, no, lots happen. no, lots happen. Matt, Matt is different. Matt is his own person. No, no, I get uh, that. No, no, no. He's multiple people, but but he's some sort of balance clone that's who he is i am not a balance that clone. would be strange he'd be branching out uh do, does is balance from a different world where demons and angels exist because that's where i come from that's just silly um uh, i i my horns grow out of my head when you say silly that's new hey I, I can do that too and i and do it, that too <laughs> and then wait, wings grow out of my back Oh, hey, I can do that, too. And I do that, too. So I get I get what you all are saying. <laughs> but I'm not but I'm not a clone of Matt. If Fred right hands involved. You have no idea where you were. No, I have no idea where I was, man. Like the last memory I have is after we were uh, attacking the, I think it was the Wendigo, saving all the, uh, all the, all the homeless people during the big blizzard we had a couple of weeks, uh, or at least from my perspective. You know, what was the hashtag we used for that? <laughs> That's all you, KT, and uh, and Saber that deal with that shenanigans. Wrong answer. The answer was oh. Wendigo go. Oh my god. <laughs> Weapon, I don't care about technology. I would rather play an, uh, the piano, make okay. music. Okay, uh, this okay. becomes a lot Drake, more because Drake, anyone we would hang out with would love obviously technology. have right, Drake, Twitter feed. you're thinking maybe this is a good time to make a break from the group? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, how did we know that, um, or how did we actually stop the Wendigo? Shane, your camera died. Yeah, I'm bringing it back up. Okay. Um, How do we stop the Wendigo? That's all hazy because I remember getting hit right before it. Now, out of character, I remember I had to leave early that night. Doesn't that sound like a, uh, oh, did like you? a 1970s That's right. metal song? How do we stop the Wendigo? Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. Well, what brought us out, out on that night in the first place? Uh, because we were searching for a young woman of one of the friends uh, who was in the shelter at the time. Listen, just stop interrogating him. We knew look, he, that he, Red Right Hand was involved, so look, obviously. He, he knows an awful lot. Right. That's what I'm saying. We know him. We just don't know him. Yeah. Could he, could, could he be like a clone? That's what I'm saying. He's some sort of clone. Or well, why, red, why would the red right hand let him go now? Let's just continue to talk about him right in front of him. <laughs> <sighs> he just let you go. Someone, 
Or he's someone that we knew that he dealt with the red right hand and made some sort of deal with the red right hand that mm -hmm. let the red right hand erase his memory hey, or something. Yeah, oh, he's from another alternate so, dimension. You're getting a little bit frustrated with your friends, <laughs> right? Obviously. And so you're you're kind of just rolling your eyes, looking around the room, and so they have you know one of the the boards where you could messages up. Uh huh. And whoa, Shane went blue. He did. Weird. Right um, there's, no. It was just for a second. So the board has a message, and all of the message says is like, are you in trouble? Sink sanctuary. But don't, that's the message says. But at the bottom of the paper, you see a key. It's like, you know, an outline of a key, a key that you recognize. Uh, I stand up and I go to go pick up the key. No, I mean, it's on paper. It's not it's it's on now. paper. I never paid the key. It is. So where did this key? Where did this go? It's like, is the key supposed to be there or? No, no, no. It's it's just an outline of a key is, on the paper. I pick up the paper and look at it. So like I said, that's all it says. Are you in trouble? Sink, 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 sink sanctuary. Sanctuary. Sanctuary! Which, by the way, is an 80s metal song. But... Uh, yeah. That's what I was hoping. All right. Chris, what's uh, Caligos? What Sanctuary. Oh, I just say Caligos's name. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Um, Something happens, but right. Um, Chris, since I have infinite power as one of my things, I'm going to go ahead and advance my doom track and uh, open up a door. So, quick thing here: mm -hmm. you go to do that, and there's a block. On so the door? right at the well, no, it's you're not sensing a doom per se. Oh it, does, it feels something off. So you can't increase it. Yeah. But you're also not you're you're not feeling penalized by it either. Okay. Oh, you're not doomed. You found a way to beat your doom. Missing. There is a block. You have How... full access to your powers, your normal powers. Right. And you can kind of sense both the angelic you can sense the angelic and the demonic sides of yourself. Right. But there is a block on the advanced power and the actual doom itself. Doom, doom, okay. Um, doom, doom, doom. Doom, 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 How can I ask... I'm seeking sanctuary. <laughs> ask you a question. How do, I, how do I open up the dang door to get where I need to be? Do I need to go back to my house? Search there? That's where I'm going. I'm, 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 while y'all are having this discussion... I'm going back to my house, and I'm going to search the house for my key, which looks like this. And I have this sh sheet of paper. And the key takes me... I don't know if, I, I don't know if it's safe to just like, let you back out on the street like that. Yeah. Oh, because, oh, like what? I'm dressed nicely now. Oh, is he actually dressed? Yeah. I mean, in this obvious, like mental distress state. Also, we don't... Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's responsible. Well, then what if you can go with me? Because I'm not going to sit here and argue whether I'm a clone. Oh, pick me. I'll go. Or, I'll, go. I'll go. No, no, not you. They definitely won't let me go with you. Why not? Not to be somebody responsible. I'm like responsible. Like Imperian or Saber. I look at Let me go. Or KT. I'm responsible. I'm not responsible. Who? What? I'm that's a right. That's that's, that's how radical this timeline has changed. <laughs> weapon is responsible. <laughs> All right, weapon. What? Oh, go on. What to do. All right, I I readjust my Mickey Mouse ears and start walking out the door. <sighs> okay, I go with them. <laughs> I so, point uh, out my house to him. Cool. You want to ride in my cool spaceship? Well, that's what I figured. That way you can make sure I don't do anything crazy. Let's go. Right, Here's right. the address. 
I pull out my Kirby craft and throw it so we can get in and then shrink it and fly towards the address he gives. What? Okay. Hey, Chris. Yes. I'm listening. Do we know any place named Sanctuary? Just, you know, brainstorming here. Second. Sorry about the site pause. I was actually working on something when you said that, and you exactly you asked exactly what I was looking for. So. Oh, well, he said he was looking for sanctuary, so mm -hmm. thought it might be the name of a place. See, that's what English gets you. You see on that um. You see on that uh, letter, Sanctuary is capitalized, as in it's a proper name. Right, right, right. Well, you know, English is my first language, all right? Uh, it's not? No. I begin speaking <laughs> the language of my people. So he looks Arminian, so. English? <laughs> oh, my God. So... If you know them, this shouldn't even bother you. Like, well, <laughs> it right, should be right, clear. Right. <laughs> yeah. right, right, right. I just keep talking in my in my native tongue. It sounds like something from a bad horror movie. But then again, you would have heard this language before in that other dimension. It I was never in that other dimension, so it's right, beautiful. right. You wouldn't have because for some odd reason you couldn't come and have the cool adventure with the rest of us with Fluffer Nutter. He was the best of us. Guy Ferrati. Yeah. He was, had, yes. He was. And you killed Guy Ferrati. An access, access the, uh, the situation. Oh, that Who? is... Empyrean? Yeah. That is... Superior. Okay. I missed. I don't know where that fills my potential. Something is in the back of your head about that, but you're not placing it. Okay. You two. You yes. get to the old gallery. This okay. gallery has not been in use since the 90s. So, like, even though I'm looking through the window, there's, like, none of my stuff, no furniture left there or anything? No, in fact, there, you know... Homeless people have lived here for years. Okay. Uh, I try the door that I always used. Okay. Door opens. Nothing there. Yeah. I'm frustrated. I go st I go to the top of the building and, you know, hang my legs off the side. And, I swim. and I'm just so frustrated. And I, I, I describe my frustration. I am actually angered at this point. Angered at the ineptitude that I feel right now. And nothing well, is going kind right. Of looks at you hey, and then Chris. pulls off his Mickey Mouse ears and offers them to you. For my advancement, I'm rearranging my labels as I choose and adding plus one to a label. Okay. I take the Mickey Mouse ears and put them on my head. Are you trying to uh, come? By the me? way, yes. the rest of you. Well, you uh, better roll. Not, not quite weapons since you actually weren't here the last time, but the rest of you. So remember how I mentioned you were feeling the weird sadness well, at the beginning of the adventure? Something just wasn't right. You did say something uh -huh. like that, yeah. That is gone. Oh, I just assumed that was because of Empyrean. That, that is actually that completely safe. gone. Okay. Can I roll to comfort or support? Yes, but I do kind of want to hear what this is going to sound like, but yes, you may. Okay. You gave him his Mickey Mouse ears. I gave him my Mickey Mouse ears. He did. He did. I put it on. It's Weapon. He's trying his darndest, and I know that. <laughs> Go ahead and roll. Oh, oh dear. wow. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Not quite. He just, he just doesn't, doesn't know. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he gives you your Mickey Mouse ears and says, 
you'll never be our friend. But, <laughs> you know, we like Walt Disney, so there's that. Well, <laughs> we'll, have always, Mickey Mouse that. Ears. <laughs> we'll always have the Mickey Mouse ears. ears. No, but he gives him his ears. He just tells him homeless people can never go to Disney. <laughs> <laughs> You're not really likable, so they won't let you in here. <laughs> but you can you have know, the ears. It's you know how the closest you'll Goofy get. And um, the other dog are dogs, but everyone treats Goofy with respect and treats him as a human being. You're like the other one. Pluto? Yeah. yeah. Pluto. <laughs> Pluto. 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 Yeah, I was thinking it was just because Chris Angel looks ridiculous with Mickey Mouse ears on. He just doesn't, <laughs> he just isn't comforted by that, that. That could also be it. All good. I hand him back his Mickey Mouse ears. Yeah. Yep. Yep, what? He tried. It's cool, Weapon. I have a plan. What's your plan? No, uh, you, with, uh, your failed comfort support. I was going to try one, too, but... I'm not there currently. <laughs> oh, well, let's... Uh, By the way, let's... one quick thing, uh, Drake. You're kind of sitting on the roof of the building, your hands, you know, just kind of dangling over the edge. Yep. And you have to notice to the right on where the um, the concrete is, where you're setting, mm -hmm. you see a bloody right hand print. Hey, Weapon, do you see that? Do I see it, Chris? Oh, yeah. There, there's a base. It looks like a bloody hand print was there. I... And it was a right hand. I do see that. Who is this is red right hand anyway? <laughs> You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Who is the red right hand? Well, let me see. Call, call him Pyrian. I call him, him. Pyrian. Not or, or Saber. Or KT. One what of those three. What do I call him? Okay. You got, uh, when did you get a call? Pick. Yeah, I... Yeah, I'd, I'd probably actually call Saber. Okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, have you ever heard of someone called the Red Right Hand? Yes. Yes, I have. Why? Is he bad news or good news? Uh, definitely bad. Well, uh, there's a bloody right hand print over where, are you? where Drake says his house was. I'll send you the coordinates. All right, thanks. I'll see you in a minute. All right, and I uh, hang up and send Saber the coordinates. All right, red right hand, the signature handprint. Is that uh, the place that homeless kid says his home was? <laughs> just keep referring to me as homeless kid. That I homeless swear to kid. God. <laughs> swear to God. It's my fault they took you out of the timeline. <laughs> <clears throat> I still think it's possible that he's some guy, some poor schmuck that... Um, Made a deal with the red right hand. Could be. Never make a deal with the red right hand. Never. Even, even if he got rid of your doom. Mm, no. Yeah, I don't know. That'd be pretty tempting. Yeah. No. Even if he got rid of your mother's doom. Okay. See. See. That's a. Uh huh. Uh huh. Be pretty tempting, wouldn't it? We're, we're just saying it could happen. Right. I just don't know where my mom is anymore. I was just going to say, he didn't get rid of his mother's doom. He got rid of his mother. <laughs> right. He also got rid of her doom. I mean, this is the way <laughs> these kind of deals work. So, yeah, I'm going to head down there. If anyone else wants to come. Um, I'm going to do some research because he mentioned sanctuary, and that's bugging me. Sure. So I'm going to go ask around. All right. Let me know what you find. Hey, you want to search on that, KT? I was going to say, hey, KT, why don't you dig on that with him, if you don't mind? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you and I do some research? Can we take a break? Is it that Actually, time? One second. It is about that time. Yes, one second. KT. Yeah. You're doing research on that. And probably the same thing Imperian is thinking about pops up into your, into, you know, your, your searches. The song by the cult? No, well, it does. Obviously, a lot of times. You can get all the lyrics you want. Um, St. Paul's Cathedral. Okay. Its proper name is the Sanctuary of St. Paul. Mm. And it has been closed since the 70s. Mm. 
So we should go check that out, KT. Yep. And we will pause there.